Hello, welcome to 1997 Batman.com. Today we are looking at the Deluxe Glacier Battle Robin with Tandem Assault Snow Skiff and St Slinger, Stinger, Slinger Missile. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is uh, this is one of the Kenner uh, figures. This is one of the Deluxe lines, which were slightly more expensive. Usually came with a, kind of like a small kind of little vehicle like this. Uh, let's put the vehicle to one side. Just have a quick look at the Robin figure first. Oh, as you can see. It's kind of silver and blue, looking a little bit more like uh, a Nightwing, to be honest, with the whole uh, blue uh, Robin symbol, uh, blue mask. Um, very kind of detailed uh, sculpting of kind of this kind of really unrealistic musculature, um, kind of gloves. It's sort of got some, like shoulder pads here, and they've kind of put some like ridge detail on the Robin figure and the Robin uh, uh, symbol on the chest there, which is kind of cool. Uh, he's also got like little ninja boots like uh, a remy of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Shells and uh, as with all the Robin figures on this line for some reason they decided to put the uh, the cape draping from the back rather than from the from the neck I mean in the movie it, it still does come from the neck but for some reason they made all the Robin figures um, from the back uh, so it has these two pegs one there uh, that keep it in place this I think is one of the only Robin figures with a cloth cape as you can see, pretty see-through. I prefer cloth capes. I don't really like the uh, the plastic ones. They don't really move as much. Uh, a bit more difficult. Uh, let's just go close in. Just see the uh, the likeness to uh, Chris O'Donnell there. It's not too bad. They have changed it up since the uh, Batman Forever um, uh, uh, face sculpt, obviously, because the mask is much thinner now. Um, but anyway, there we go. So this is the vehicle that it comes with. This so snow skiff. Um, so as you can see there's kind of like a, a kind of floppy uh, ski, one ski on the front. It's almost like a kind of tricycle kind of thing, uh, like a lot of the Kenner vehicles. And then you've got these which sort of, I don't know, I guess if you're going kind of slightly up, it sort of helps with the kind of keeping it level. There's a couple of cool things about this. One, uh, there's a few different positions you can put um, Robin in. So you can have him just sat down his feet fit in nicely, and his hands grab onto the uh, the handles there, which is kind of cool. Uh, but he can also stand up on the skiff. Uh, he has to hunch over slightly, but it is doable. And then the other extra thing, which is very cool, is it's a tandem uh, snow skiff, because if you pull, it brings out a second seat and you can put whoever you want in. I'm not sure if the Batgirl fits but let's put it in the Batman. So yeah, it's probably better actually if he sits down for this bit. You sit Robin down and Batman in the back I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can turn it into sort of a tandem skiff um, which is kind of cool. Let's move him out of the way, close that up. Uh, and the last thing, of course, is the missile. So it's got this missile on the front. There's a little clip here. And this is, I think, like that. Yeah, so this is how a lot of the missiles were done in the Kenner line for Batman and Robin, which is they have this ball. And it's just sort of like a pressure switch. There's no spring or anything. So it's just sort of like you clip it into place in there. And then you pull on the thing and eventually it kind of pops it out. It's kind of a pressure switch. Um, so yeah, that is the Glacier Battle Robin uh, figure, very cool figure, uh, I like that a lot. Um, and the vehicle is kind of cool as well, obviously this is sort of representing the uh, the little ice, well not even little, massive ice sled that he had in the film, which I don't think they actually made a, a vehicle for. They made something kind of similar but it wasn't quite the same, I guess with Kenner a lot of their stuff was based on concept art. So. They didn't know exactly what it was going to look like. But still, this is a fun figure. Uh, I'd say if you are a Batman and Robin collector, this is definitely worth getting. Um, I've seen the figures loose, but um, yeah, in terms of getting it uh, complete, uh, it shouldn't be too hard. Um, just going to check if there's anything else that I've missed. Oh, I know this spoiler comes off the back. I don't know. Maybe that's a weapon or something. It's got sort of like a little bit of a handle there. Who knows? But anyway, that is the Deluxe Glacier Battle Robin uh, from Kenner. Um, yeah, check it out.